Welcome to this video playing Kando. Oh, I wanted to play e5 actually. Okay. Alright, we could let's go to the Sicilian. Many possible openings here. Okay, so at least I got the bishop pair. E5 is surprising. Surprising idea. Okay, so my general plan here is to I'm going to try to play on the long diagonal f6 takes pawn takes rook g8 trying to use my my bishop pair king h8 is just preparing this move and he's just taking it giving me the g file okay Yeah, it's not like not like I'm mating him directly, but it uh, should be should be okay. What <laughs> kind of? It's, I can take d4, right? Knight takes rook g2. This is somehow not winning, or what? <laughs> Can go to f1, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, then that's not working. Let's let's re reroute then. Yeah, he's simply dashing out move after move after move after move. It must be really simple this game. I actually think this is a fairly complicated position, but okay, let's see. Bishop g3 probably, or will he try to snatch this pawn with bishop c7? No, he's actually playing a defensive move. Okay, I'm going to <clears throat> put this on the ideal square. And go go from there. Let's make sure that this is never hanging, and then we'll see what to do next. Rook c8. Yeah, maybe not ideal, but let's just play a bit quicker. Before I expect it, but I can maybe just take a2. Okay, it's giving up the exchange. Yeah, it's this this kind of wrecked pawn structure positions are not so easy to play, but my rooks are active. And he really he doesn't have any concrete threats at all. Check. And it looks fairly okay. Okay, he's trying to enter with the queen somehow. Let's just keep stuff covered. Go from there. What what can I do here act in active terms? Rook c2, rook c2, queen e2, this kind of thing. Just want to make the rook movable. Let's say if that's that's a word, <clears throat> so that queen. Okay, he took with the queen, so I, I didn't need to do that. But it, it's not bad. King is a bit better here than on h8. So maybe make sure that g4 is not hitting that much. And then try from there. Yeah, how, how do you win that? It's not so easy. I think now I should <coughs> really activate the rook. Threaten rook f3, yeah. This this is <coughs> this would be a good way to give the exchange back for the d4 pawn 
and a wrecked king structure, kingside structure. Okay, so I'm keeping this pawn attacked and I have threatened to take. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take here, yeah, definitely. No, yeah, that looks good now. Yeah, F3 hangs with a big check. And here, this should be good, right? Bishop h6 is no problem. I'm having the queen covered and f3 hangs and the bishop is um, pinned. Yeah, that should be good. Cannot really defend f3. No move right. Queen a4 for queen d7. Is this is this a move? Hmm? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't take take the bishop then. Check. Yeah, taking with check cannot be bad. Okay, check on e2. King f1. Knight g3. Check. Check. That looks good. Check. One of the mates I will play. Queen e2 mate or queen h1 mate. White resigns. Yeah, okay. That's a, a win for a change. Yeah, I mean, this was a weird decision, e5, that it's kind of kind of surprising that he basically opens up the long diagonal for me. I can also play d5, but I was thinking that I should just put it on b7 and then try to attack the center with f6. Not the only only plan, but, but an interesting one. Yeah, I got that, that far. And d4 I found very surprising that that especially so so quickly because it, it it gets kind of critical yeah this is a very strong diagonal and he has to I think uh, yeah find some kind of defensive setup after this um, I mean black is just in very good shape with this long diagonal and blocked IQP mm, this is probably not a good idea I'm going here and if he dares to take it, I, I always have this option to get to g2. Yeah, now I just wanted to, to keep things keep things blocked. Yeah, I, I think this is just not sufficient. Check. And trade stuff and I have everything neatly under control. This those two pieces are nicely controlled by the f6 pawn and he has nothing to attack really. One problem is that the dark squared bishop here for white is um, a little bit a little bit out of play as it cannot attack any of the light squared pieces and everything is on light squares almost in my end so it's kind of pointing into into nothing. Yeah, and here I spotted the idea with the with the exchange sec, which is pretty pretty decisive. Yeah, okay, that was an okay game. All right, thanks for watching.